Hi, welcome to a therapeutic moment. We're on day 13. I hope you've enjoyed some of those other videos I've created to help you learn better ways to cope with life and better ways to enjoy life. You know, sometimes life is rough and it can feel like an emotional battlefield where we're being you know, shot at with stress and loneliness, insults and physical discomforts. We can't always escape it. Or can we? Let me show you today on how to create a happy or a calm place that you can visit anytime you want. Most of us are on lockdown either because of local mandates or because the demands of our lives make us feel a little trapped and stuck in a monotonous routine. A vacation would be a welcomed, refreshing experience but they can only happen so often. So when you can't vacation physically, you can do it mentally. And you may be surprised to know that when it comes to the neural connections in your mind, like the actual wiring and physical structures in there, that they don't differentiate between real and imagined experiences. And take musicians and athletes, for example. When they imagine practicing, they not only maintain their current skills, they actually advance their skills. And when imagery is done on their, their brains, and they do scanning, they can see that there's actual alterations in the brain growth because of their imaginary practices. So an imagined experience is worth having. Today, we're gonna create a special place for you to go to in your mind when you need to relax and recharge. And since it's in your mind, you can visit it whenever you need to. You'll just need to find a comfortable place and join me and I will guide you through. Let's go. First, I'm gonna teach you what's called a butterfly hug. Now this hug is just something that's meant to feel relaxing while also keeping your mind a little bit engaged in what's going on. If it doesn't feel comfortable or you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but give it a try first so you can figure out if it works for you. It's pretty simple. You cross your thumbs here. You put your hands about where your collarbones are and then you just slide it down till you reach about where your armpits are. So your hands are right above your chest. And what you do is you just lightly tap alternating one hand to another, just like this, keeping your hands slightly cupped and just tapping with those fingertips back and forth, back and forth. So give this a little bit of a try. See how you like it. See if it feels soothing to you. Okay. All right, now that we've practiced that, we'll move on to creating your special place. So take a breath in, hold it for a few seconds and an exhale. Good, breathe in through the nose. Hold it for a few seconds and a big exhale out the mouth. Nice. Now I want you to think of a place that sounds really relaxing and enjoyable for you to be in. This could be a real or imagined place. Just something that pops up in your mind. Kind of look, just grab the first idea that sounds good to you. So here's where we're gonna test if it's a good idea or if we wanna move on to another idea is just imagine that place for a little bit. Close your eyes and just check in with it. And then just notice if you have good feelings when you're there. If it, it's causing you to feel relaxed, happy, light, or if it's anything other than that, then maybe switch to a different one. Okay, so if it didn't pass that test, go searching, go kind of through your mind and think of another place you can create. So it's best if your place is something that's imaginate or it's from your imagination. Um, that doesn't mean you can't use places that you've really enjoyed and been to and have good memories from, but if you're gonna use some place that is actually here on earth, imagine taking that place as like a template that, and bringing it into your own imaginary place. So then in your mind you can differentiate between the real world and this imaginary world. So you can use it as a jumping point for your creativity, you can use it as a template, but it's really something that is 
is supposed to be cherished in your own, so you want to distinguish it as your own. Okay, so hopefully by now you've come up with a place that you feel pretty confidently you'll feel comfortable and relaxed in. So if, if you're ready for that, join me for this next part where you close your eyes, take another breath in, and an exhale, and just see the textures. Just look around in this place and see all the visual details that are there. See what it looks like. See if the details are really vivid or if they're soft or natural. Notice if they are really vibrant and colorful, more so than life, or if they're natural or more muted. Now notice all the different sights there are. It doesn't matter if you're in one spot looking around or if you're traveling around, whatever you want to do. But just take some time to just drink up all those visual details. And then allow yourself to notice the textures, feel things. Imagine what it would feel like on your body, on your skin. You know, if you're sitting, standing, moving, what it feels like to physically be there, the pressures, the temperature. So take a moment to imagine and experience all those physical sensations there. And then um, imagine what you would hear. Listen to all the sounds. Now with any of these things, it's all created for what you want to have happen. So it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to follow the laws of physics. You can smell, hear, taste, feel, anything you want there. So imagine hearing whatever it is you want to hear. And see if you can imagine it so strongly in your mind that you feel right now as if you're actually hearing it. And then do the same for smells. What aromas would you smell and the scents that are surrounding you? Are they strong and intense? Are they mild? Are they sweet? Are they fragrant? Imagine them in your mind again so strongly that you feel right now that your body can respond as if you're smelling it. And then do the same for tastes. Taste whatever you want. And it can taste however you want it to taste, but Go in to this experience so that you can physically feel that. Feel it on your tongue. Taste all those flavors. From the moment it goes into your mouth all the way down. So now take a moment to enjoy all those things. And then notice how your body feels right now in this moment while you're doing this guided meditation. Check in with your body. See how it feels and where you feel it. You know, do you feel relaxed? Where do you feel relaxed? What part of your body is it? If you feel warm, expanded, excited, where are you feeling that? Is there a temperature change? Is there a stirring, a circulation, or a settling, or a lightness? Recognize what that feeling is. And once you can keep that good feeling going, we're going to do a little experiment to see how much we could let this good feeling go, okay? So if any thought or feeling comes in right now, or throughout this meditation, that is not perfectly wonderful. I want you to just gently set that to the side. 
Because right now is just your moment to feel really good. This is our moment together to help see how good can your body feel? How can you allow it to feel as good as it can feel? So if you have anything contrary that comes up, again, just notice it and gently set it to the side. Let it know you'll deal with that later. But for right now, this is a little bit of your vacation. So allow, your, allow yourself to do that. So go back to your place to get that really good feeling going. And once you have that really good feeling back, just add in that little butterfly tap that little hug that I showed you. And just notice the physical sensations now, where you feel this good feeling in your body. And while you tap, let yourself, just let that feeling expand. Maybe it goes farther in other places in your body, maybe it intensifies, maybe another good feeling comes in, but just notice. Just enjoy this good sensation in your body. Don't stop it from getting bigger or stronger and just allow it to happen. Good, now take a breath in and an exhale. Take a little break from your butterfly hug. Now just check in with yourself. Did you allow those good feelings to get bigger? Did a different good feeling come in? How was it? I want you to notice how that was. And we're going to do this little experiment again. We're going to see like, you know, how positive can you feel? So this time go back to your place again and just imagine it long, as long as you need to to get those good feelings coming back. So close your eyes, go to your place. You can always pause this video for more time if you need it. Once you get those good feelings going, just add in your butterfly hug and notice that good feeling. See if this time you can let it go farther. Maybe it goes beyond your body, that sensation, or to another new part of your body. Again, maybe it gets stronger. Maybe another good feeling comes in. Just enjoy it though. Whatever it is, it doesn't need to be forced, just observed. Okay, take a breath in and an exhale. So hopefully this exercise has either one made you really relaxed and maybe a little bit tired or two pretty invigorated and um, light feeling. So this place that you've created that has helped you create these really good feelings, you can go to whenever you need to. But Let's give it a name, just so that you can kind of have a easy mental access into this place. So what you're gonna do to name it is, you're not gonna overly filter all your ideas. Really the first one or two ideas that pop in your mind, just test them out. And this is how you do your test. You say the name, the proposed name of your place in your mind, in your head, or you can say it out loud if you want to. And then just listen to your body. And if your body kind of cringes, like, or your unsettled feeling, that's not the right name. But if it relaxes and goes, ah, then you found it. This takes just a few seconds to test your name. So test your name. If it's a keeper, great, keep it. Don't judge it. You don't need to share the name with anybody, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a made up word, a phrase, a sound, um, the goofiest thing you've ever heard, it doesn't matter. It can just even be my happy place. So whatever works for you. So if your first idea didn't work, go ahead, grab another idea, do the exact same test. Say the name, listen, let your body respond. Is your body gonna react like well or not well? It speaks pretty clearly. Okay, once you've found a name, 
here's how we're going to sort of associate these two things together is I'm going to have you do kind of three things at once. Um, I think you'll be able to do it though. I want you to go and imagine your place. That's one. Two, I want you to say the name of your place over in your head, maybe about four-ish times. Three, the last thing I'm going to have you do is add in the butterfly tapping, that butterfly hug, okay? So ready? One, imagine your place. Two, you're going to repeat the name of your place. And three, you're going to be tapping. Go ahead and begin those three things. Again, you could say it in your mind, it's fine. Okay, now you have this wonderful place for you to go to whenever you need a little vacation and a little bit of a break. Now, the rules of this place is one, you need to practice it. Just like anything in life, the more you use it, the richer, the easier, and the more effective it will be for you. So I recommend over the next week or so, go to this place for a couple times a day. Go, you know, when you're laying in bed before you go to sleep, or when you're a passenger in the car, or when you're waiting in a line and you don't need to be much aware of your environment, then it's okay to go to your imagination and daydream a little bit, okay? So that's one, is to practice it. Two is, you know, you gotta keep it really wonderful or else it's not a vacation. So only add in things to this place that are pristine and perfectly enjoyable for you. That may mean you don't add any people into it because people are complex. But if you feel really tempted to add a person in, then just take a piece of that person or a template like from that person and create your own new person in your special place. Um, you can keep it always the same, repeating over and over and over again. It could just be a three second little clip that plays or you can change it up however much you want, like an endless you know, novel that has sequel after sequel in it. But whatever way you do it, it has to be just full of peaceful, calm, soothing, enjoyable things for you. And if you feel like you need to separate it in your mind a little bit more from life, that it's kind of hard to transition into this imaginary place for you, then imagine putting like a protective barrier around it. Maybe a force field or guards or an atmosphere, something to uh, protect it. And you can also put it far away from Earth. So like, you know, put it on its own planet or in the sky, um, in the middle of the ocean, wherever you want to help your brain make a distinction that this is not Earth. It doesn't follow the rules of Earth. It has nothing to do with life here. It is its own entirely different place. So you can imagine, you know, taking an airplane to go visit it or, or teleporting, or however you want to do it, that makes sense for you. Okay, so practice this, keep it wonderful, let those good feelings go. Don't stop them from going short. We often do that. Most of us have habits of stopping our really good feelings when they start revving up, we kind of cap them off. So just practice letting them go. Let those good feelings flow and set aside time to enjoy your place, give yourself a break, all your problems, they'll be waiting for you afterwards and you can go and attend to them afterwards. Um, but you don't need to be attending to them all the time. All right, our minds are a fascinating place. It could be a place where negative thoughts and feelings are or it can be a place of respite. Enjoy your vacation. Bye.